got a new gadget to look at in this one. This one is a tool to aid in removing surface mounted components such as resistors, transistors, surface mounted capacitors. Quite neat. I didn't know what to think of it when I first opened it up, but once I got the hang of it, this thing actually works really well. And I think I will be using it in future videos. Let's take a look at it. I have a mystery package. I wonder what I've got in here. Let's find out. What do we have here? It's uh, something by, um, from the company Secure. So we'll just open up the package. See what I got. It's a soldering iron. Comes with a 65 watt power supply. They are SMD tongs to remove parts and replace parts. Comes with a holder. Here's the holder. I guess I have to put this together. So let's just put the holder together and then we'll try these out. I should point out that it also comes with accessories. It comes with a couple of small Allen keys that are used to remove the tips for replacement. And a couple of replacement set screws for the set screws that will inevitably get lost. So these screws, and you can do it, it looks like you can do it different ways. You can set it up this way so that you can set it like this or with the with the clean the sponge beside it or you can do it this way or you can do it this way it comes with three sets of mounting holes and a little sponge goes in there so I'll just set it up with these ones for the time being you give a little screwdriver too of course this is perfect for removing surface mounted parts you heat them both at the same time. We're going to try it on that. i got a scrap board here as well that I'll play around with. It. They just sit in there like that. And we plug in the power cable to the adapter. Oh, it's got a USB-C to USB-C. That's good. Plug that in. And then plug this 65 watt adapter into power. And then we can power up the iron. And to turn it on, I'm just going to hit the power, whichever one turns it on. There, now it's on. You can see the tip getting hot right away. We'll tin these with some solder right, right immediately because soldering tips do need to be tinned. We can change the temperature here, the idle temperature, so forth. Work temperature is 300 Celsius. So right there, that menu, number five, you can switch it between Celsius and Fahrenheit for those that want to be in Fahrenheit, which I think I will do before I start using these because I think in temperature, I think Fahrenheit, not Celsius. You can dial your temperature up and down. I'm going to try this out on an old circuit board here that uh, this is shot this board and uh, we'll see how well it removes some of these surface mounted caps. Will it take them out as easy as I hope it's going to? And I should be able to just reach down here and lift this part out. That's what, what the hope is, is that it's just going to uh, make removing these parts easy. There you go, that's one removed. It did, it did exactly what it said it was going to do. 
it's going to remove uh, it's going to make recapping some of these boards a little bit easier when you can get into them because you can just go on either side and just heat the part up okay I bumped it up a bit there that one came off that time I guess once you get the hang of it, you can remove them. Yeah, it's, um, I guess there might be a learning curve to it, but I mean, it does remove, it does remove those parts without damaging the, the trace, that's for sure. Um, so I guess in that respect, um, they probably would do the job for 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 some people. I'm I'm just used to cutting them and taking them out, right? That's the way that I normally do it, and this probably would work for that too. To remove the bases, right? If I took my cutters, for example, and um, just cut the top off, which is what I usually do, I cut them off like that, and then I just pull the bases off and get them down like this will these work well for taking off those probably better than what I'm used to oh yeah so that worked that was actually easier than trying to take them out directly like this that one came out okay And that one came out okay and it's not damaging the board when they're removed which is always a concern when you're taking out these surface mounted caps is that your or any surface mounted parts for that matter is they're going to damage the board I have a little surface mounted transistor as I say this is a scrap board that came out real easy How about another one here? Yeah, that, that came out real easy too. And other little caps like these ones. So solid caps. They pop off pretty quick. Just heat them up and lift them away. That works great for that. Probably lift chips up as well. Although these are probably better suited to air stations, but certainly the small, the small uh, chip components lift off pretty easy. Little resistors. Can't get the uh, probes in quite close enough for some of them. It still comes off. No problem. That little resistor right down here. Right? You just put the two together and lift it off just like that. So after just playing around with these for a few minutes, I can say that I can clearly see that these they do have a use. You know, for if you're gonna go in and replace some caps, some of these little small caps might make it easier to get into with with something like this. Or even if you're not gonna use it 
and the way it was designed using them to actually take the solder out they come out you just have to remember you're going to melt the plastic on the bottom of it which is really not an issue anyway so I guess in that respect they, they're fine I find the easiest way to do is just to put pressure on it and squeeze and it will pop. Put, get into the side and just squeeze. And it will pop. That is uh, how to do them. Get in under the surface mounted cap on the side and just squeeze. And put a little pressure down and squeeze them. And then lift off. That's how to do it. Yeah, okay. Now I got the now I got the hang of this thing. Recapping a board, removing a bunch of caps from a board with uh, this is actually quite easy. Just go in there and squeeze them together. even when they're densely placed. You can see all the, the, the crap that's leaked out of these caps. They've um, basically pissed on the board. And this board here was a dead board. That's why I'm taking the parts off, because it's not a device that's dead. It's a scrap scrap unit. So that's why I'm playing around with these on this board, because this board's not getting repaired. But even the bigger ones like this, Removes them, no problem. And leaves the board in pretty good shape. If you look at a close up from where I've removed some parts, no tr trace damage, which is always a concern when you're using a single iron and you're he heating one side and trying to lift it or heating the other or cutting them that's why I usually cut them so that I'm not putting any strain on the board but like for example if I want to remove this one right here as you can see I can just get the tongs in underneath it on both sides and just squeeze heat it up and just, just squeeze them together and it will lift off it takes a second or two and then there you go that's uh cat's ass as they say that's I'm quite impressed I've never used one of these before until today and I've only been using it for a couple of minutes and as you can see parts are lifting off quite nicely this one might be problematic because you can see that this one's been leaking but we'll see how this one comes out No problem at all. I would have to say that we have a winner here with the secure 
soldering tweezers for removing SMD parts. I'm going to end this now. This is just a short little demo video. And uh, I'll throw the link in the description. But uh, yeah, I can see these here being very useful for doing this type of work. If you need to remove surface mounted parts, these make it a lot easier than any other manual way. Uh, heat gun or air station also is fairly good, but the, the problem with the air station is you run the risk of blowing other parts off. That's what I don't like about the air stations. They're fine for putting in ICs and stuff where you can shield around it so that the air doesn't knock other parts out, but when you're trying to deal with a bunch of parts like this on a, on a board where you've got a whole bunch of small parts, air station is just too it's just just too much turbulence in here that will blow other parts away whereas this one here as you see I'm removing parts from this board where there's all kinds of small little parts right in the nearby vicinity and I can remove the one I want without taking out others so I think we got a winner in fact about the only thing that I can see that's wrong with this is that you can't put the uh, system back in the case with the, the stand assembled if you're going to pack it away when you're not using it, for example, which, I mean, I wouldn't be using this thing every day, so in order to pack it away, you pretty much have to take the screws out that hold the, the bracket in place so that the bracket can be stored separately. And then, of course, the screws, you can just throw them back down here, right? But you pretty much will have to take this thing apart when not using it because if you're going to store it in the case, it's not going to uh, close up. So anyway, it's all packed up for what I need it. Thanks for watching. I'll put the link in the description and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.